Dear fish keeper, we have today our fish keys, our fish diseases number 35. Uh, well, we have regular cases I encounter in my work as a, a flying fish doctor. And it helps me to collect some data and details for you that might help you to learn to identify fish diseases because that's part of my purpose if the, the work I provide here on the fish disease cases that you try that I try you to understand how to diagnose fish diseases and what is the best way you should uh, develop a treatment and how to start a treatment. So I'll share you my screen when the, this case, uh, it's about, uh, well, a platy. The platy had ick or white spot disease. Golden leopard was the strain. And the thing what was uh, reported to me, hey, look at the platys. They are swimming very strange. They're hanging some on the bottom, some on the surface, and some are uh, clamping the fins. And particularly, uh, I, I show you here, uh, on the next one here, you will see here one coming and, and, and clamping the fins. And that clamping of the fins is something which is typical here, you see this one here and this one there. Uh, that means the fish is suffering from something on the skin, which is bothering them. Something that is, well, the fish is not itchy yet. It's not scraping. See, maybe some will do it if you watch it closely. And, but the fish are acting very funny. Look, and that's particularly this one here on the top. Let's go back here. They're like this one here. That's a typical sign of something that is troubling. And if you would have watched very closely with a, a, a light bulb or a flash lamp, you, you might have seen some white spots uh, on the fins and on the skin. But this fish, this kind of coloration type of platy is very difficult to show you the white spots. So the thing you can do is I take just the skin scraping, just that skin scraping here at a and at a magnification of 50 or 100 already, you can see these big uh, parasites moving around. Here it's a 200 magnification. And you see clearly the, the white spots. Ichthyopterius, you see the white thing inside is the nuclei. Uh, we see uh, the small uh, ciliates, uh, which are outside the, the white spot, the way by which it can move. Uh, in, into the water. You can see it here at the edges here of this, this parasite. And this parasite, that's how it's moving around. So it's a parasite of the skin in the mucus, uh, eating on the, the mucus and on the food you can get there and, and making a risk of damage. This was just the beginning of this stage. So that's why the fish were not that badly acting. It started with very few. But like I say in many of my videos, try to make a treatment as soon as possible. And I will try to explain this with my Dr. Baslier uh, anti-ick methods. And the first thing you must think about, do partial water changes, because that also removes a big part of the parasites which are floating around in the water and causing a risk of infecting more varieties of fish. Raise the temperature because it will speed up the cycle of the parasite. If you fish can accept a temperature of 32, 33 degrees, so high, that even controls the, the reproduction of egg. So it will slow down or even kill uh, the white spot uh, parasites, Ichthyophterius multifides. So that can be an help, but not always a good solution when the fish are damaged. Bacterial effects can increase, so the fish have to accept these high temperatures. But if you do already a few degrees, that certainly helps in, in the treatment. Add a, an anti egg treatment, there are many available. I can recommend Farnamore from Aquarium Münster. I follow the directions because it's important that the instructions tell you that you have to retreat on a regular basis so you have enough medication to kill the, during the cycle of that parasitic infection. Use our Dr. Basley Bifish Food Matrine. Don't use any other food. I use it during 20 days. So the fish has accumulated enough matrine and oxymatrine inside the mucus 
in the gills, on the skin, so it can uh, repel. It's like a repellent, repels the parasites, or the parasites cannot reaffect. So this is a help next to medication. Or by fish food is no medication, it's a help for the fish to protect himself. If you have a chance, siphon off the bottom two times a day, in the morning and in the evening, to remove the parasites. So these things all help you to, to control. And we developed, therefore, our Dr. Basslier anti egg method, which I explain here on the diagram. See the parasites are on the skin, and they reproduce within seven days, depending on the temperature. The higher the temperature, the faster it falls off and it uh, accumulates. Let's go back. And then it really affects the fish. Medications kill this baby egg with Farnamor for freshwater marine. Protomore for invertebrate aquaria, marine invertebrates. So this kills this parasite, but still it does not kill any of these big parasites. They can be removed, the big ones, by siphoning the water, by using a filtration with a, like a diatom filter, with a filter pore smaller than 300 mu. A UV lamp kills the parasites. So particularly if you have a central filter, the central filtration must have a UV when you have connection with different fish tanks, so it kills the parasites going through the UV lamp. Raising the temperatures to 28, 26 degrees, speeds up the cycle and siphon of the water, like I explained you. This helps to remove the parasites, things like that. So this, this brochure is available on our website, baslayer.com. You have here the link. And that might help you to, uh, to do this treatment. So this was a fish case on about the white spot disease on, on a platy. And, and I have certainly more cases about other parasites, bacteria and, and, and diseases, because I encounter that every month during my work as a flying fish doctor. So stay tuned and become a good fish doctor by using a microscope and making sure you detect the problems at the beginning stage of the disease. Thank you.